Hey, welcome into the Pixel Pub. I hear you've got questions about what kind of specs you need to be able to stream to YouTube or Twitch or any of those other video platforms. So I get it. If you don't get this right, not only is your stream going to stutter, but your game is gonna lag too. I just glitched and I'm lagging! At least this time the lag would be real so you could actually tell your friends that that's why you lost the fight. Either way, they're still probably not gonna believe you. But let's break down exactly what you need in the most straightforward, no nonsense way possible. Whether you're building your own computer, buying a pre-built, or even commissioning one from me, you know that you're going to get exactly what you need. All right, pull up a stool and cheers to you. Everyone watching this video right now, I can't wait to hear about you being a crazy successful full-time streamer really soon. I believe in you. Cheers. Let's dive in head first. First up is the CPU. Think of this as the brain of your PC. It's the one component handling all the important tasks like running your game, encoding your stream, and keeping track of all your alerts, your chat boxes, as well as running all those other applications like OBS, Discord, Spotify, whatever you're running on your computer. Depending on how much you throw at it, your CPU is going to determine a lot about how good of a time you're actually having on your computer. When it comes down to it, there's two things that you really need to pay attention to when it comes to the CPU, the number of cores and the speeds of those cores. The more cores that your CPU has, the more it can juggle without dropping anything. The higher the speeds of each core, the faster it can get those things done. Easy enough, right? Now the biggest decision you'll probably be making when, when it comes to your CPU is choosing between AMD and Intel. Now traditionally, AMD has had more cores for less money, which is one reason why a lot of people really like them. But Intel has typically performed the same types of processes more efficiently when it comes to benchmarks, especially on productivity apps. AMD CPUs are great for gaming PCs, but I typically recommend an Intel processor for streaming builds. At least 12th generation or older processors, I'm still waiting to see exactly how this new microcode helps out the 13th and 14th generation chips before recommending those. If you wanna know more about that, check out this video. Next up, we have the graphics card. This bad boy is responsible for those buttery smooth visuals you drool over during your gameplay. Now we're at a point in technology that you'll be just fine, whether you get an NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel card. They're all going to be able to stream just fine. But there is a little something extra can, to consider when streaming, and that's encoding. NVIDIA has a nifty feature called NVENC. Think about it as like a little elf inside your GPU dedicated solely to encoding your stream. You are definitely going to want to use this unless you enjoy watching your CPU overheat and consequently your stream lagging. Trust me, your CPU is already multitasking like crazy. Now, AMD and Intel also have their own versions of this magical little encoding elf, which will hopefully be as impactful within the next couple of years. But at the moment, Nvidia has kind of beat, beaten everybody to the punch. So a lot of streaming softwares work much better with NVENC at the moment. But hey, the choice is yours. There are a lot of people really, really looking forward to the next line of Intel line of GPUs to destroy NVENC with their AV1 encoding efficiency. In any case, your GPU should be where a big chunk of your budget goes. A good GPU equals a good time. Simple math, right? <laughs> but to be fair, the best GPU won't perform if you don't get the right motherboard. If you want some of the best CPU and GPU combos, I actually put together another video about a couple of really great choices if you wanna check that one out here. But to be fair, the best GPU won't perform if you don't get the right motherboard to go along with it. Now there are lots of great brands of motherboards and almost anything is going to work, but there are a couple of quick things that I want to mention about motherboards, the absolute unsung hero that connects all of these fancy bits together. People often cheap out here, which is kind of like buying a $5,000 monster setup, multiple monitors, top of the line mouse and keyboard, 
but then you're sitting on a plastic folding chair. You might feel fine about the decision when you're thinking about it, but then once you have to sit in it for a while, you are not happy with that decision. As a streamer, there's a couple things to think about here. First, and hopefully obviously, make sure that the motherboard is compatible with your CPU and all the other components. Otherwise, here's a couple of other things to think about. Make sure that it has the number of USB ports that you need for all of your streamer accessories. Mouse and keyboard, microphone, camera, lights, stream deck, controller, they just add up so quick. Also, make note of the PCI slots. Make sure that the main slot can support the speeds of your GPU and make sure you have a second if you want something like an internal capture card. Lastly, when talking about the motherboard, consider your internet connection and make sure that the speeds your motherboard supports are as good, if not better, than the speeds that your router will provide. Nothing is gonna kill a streaming session faster than internet not being fast enough. All right, let's get into RAM. It's super important to get this right from the start. We've all heard, just download more RAM. Well, I hate to be the person to spoil the joke, but you can't actually do that. So buy smart. For a streaming computer, 16 gigabytes should be the absolute minimum, but I definitely only recommend 32 gigabytes at this point. It's almost always worth that upgrade. I know that these are some of those little things that you might not want to worry about. So I've got a full build with specific recommendations coming up at the end of this video, or you could just buy a pre-built, but you wanna be careful doing that too. And that info is coming soon too. But first I want to mention some quick tips about storage. You've got two main options when it comes to storage, SATA SSDs, which are cheap, but not the fastest. And then you've got M.2 NVMe SSDs, which are about as fast as they come, but they are much less cheap. Now, my advice here, get yourself an M.2 NVMe SSD for your main drive to put your OS, your applications, and your everyday absolute go-to games. It'll make your boot up times and your load screens fly by like they're late to pick up their kids from school again. Then grab a SATA SSD for storing all your memes, your photos, your VODs, and all those other games on your backlog that you swear that you're gonna get to one of these days, one of these days. Finally, I wanna mention power supplies. Now please, for the love of all that's electronic and or carbonated, please do not skimp on your power supply. The power supply is the heart of your PC. And if it's not strong enough, you'll be having issues if your PC even boots at all. Remember all of those USB devices that, that you're plugging in specifically because you're a streamer? Those need power too. That power comes from your PSU. Check what your GPU needs in terms of wattage and then add a little extra on top of that. A solid brand like Corsair or Asus is always gonna be a safe bet but you can always check out the PSU cult tier list if you wanna check out what is the best right now. You don't want to be that person whose stream cuts out mid boss fight because of a power issue, do you? All right, one last tip. If you are going to buy a pre-built PC, remember there's a subtle but very important difference between a gaming PC and a streaming PC. Gaming PCs should be pouring all of their money into a great GPU. While a streaming PC is gonna balance those out a little bit with a stronger CPU as well. Balance is key here. So don't get duped into thinking a computer built specifically for gaming will inherently be great for streaming too. Now, if you're ready to build your PC, make sure you use something like PC Part Picker. This always helps alleviate a ton of headaches. If the idea of building a PC makes you break out in a cold sweat though, don't worry, I can help you with that too. Head on over to devindoestech.com, fill out the build a PC form there. For most people, I recommend something like this $1,000 machine right here. Make sure you check it out. I'll see you over there.